सेवेंथ वन इंटेग्रल ऑफ वन बाई वन माइनस काट एक्स डी एक्स नाउ सोल्यूशन आई इज इक्वल टू इंटेग्रल वन बाई वन माइनस काट एक्स डी एक्स काट एक्स इज इक्वल टू कास एक्स बाय साइन एक्स राइट ऑफ इंटेग्रल वन बाई वन माइनस कास एक्स बाय साइन एक्स डी एक्स सो नाउ इंटेग्रल वन बाई साइन एक्स साइन एक्स माइनस कास एक्स डी एक्स दिस साइन एक्स कम्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटेग्रल साइन एक्स बाय साइन एक्स माइनस कास एक्स डी एक्स नाउ कंसिडर साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स माइनस कास एक्स ओके प्लस बी ऑफ साइन एक्स माइनस कास एक्स नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ए एंड बी वैल्यूज फर्स्ट ए इंटू डिरीवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स इज कास एक्स कास एक्स इज माइनस साइन एक्स माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस साइन एक्स प्लस बी ऑफ साइन एक्स माइनस कास एक्स is equal to sin x now we have to compare cos x terms as well as sin x terms comparing cos x coefficients a minus b a minus b is equal to 0 equation 1 because cos x Term is absent in the right hand side. Comparing sine x coefficients. Here a plus b equal to one. This is two. Now let us solve. Solving one and two. A plus b equal to one. A minus b equal to zero. Adding these two cancel. Two a equals to one. A equals to one by two. Now from one. From one, a equals to b. Therefore, b is also one by two. Okay. B is also one by two. Now, what does I becomes? Integral becomes integral a times half times cos x plus sin x. B half times this is sin x minus cos x by sin x minus cos x dx. Let us separate the integrals. This is equal to half times integral cos x plus sin x by cos x minus sin x. Sorry, sin x minus cos x dx plus half times integral sin x minus cos x by sin x minus cos x dx. This this gets cancelled. This is one. So now, what do we get? This is the derivative of this one. Half log mod. 
sin x minus cos x plus of integral of dx is x plus constant of integration. Under second section, first problem follows. Evaluate integral root of 1 plus 3 x minus x square dx. i equals to integral root of 1 plus 3 x minus x square dx. So, now consider this quadratic expression only 1 plus 3 x minus x square take minus common we get x square minus 3 x minus 1. Now, x coefficient is minus 3 or you can take numerical coefficient that is mod of minus 3 3 multiply with 2 that means multiply with 1 by 2 you get 3 by 2 add 3 by 2 square and subtract it this value you remember. So, minus of x square minus 3 x plus 3 by 2 square minus 1 minus 9 by 4. So, this can be written minus of x minus 3 by 2 whole square and minus 13 by 4 multiply with minus sign. So, we get this is root 13 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square. So, now this problem i can be written like this i is equal to root over root 13 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square dx. Now, after that substitution second step. So, put x minus 3 by 2 is equal to t differentiate with respect to x. So, we get 1 dt by dx, dx is equal to dt. This we can write integral root of root 13 by 2 whole square minus t square dt. This is in the form of integral root of a square minus x square dx x root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus constant of integration. Now, let us apply this formula. Here x stands for t root of root 13 by 2 whole square minus t square by 2 plus a square 13 by 4 by 2 sin inverse t by root 13 by 2. So, this can be written now this is root this is actually t values let us substitute. What is t value? x minus 3 by 2. x minus 3 by 2 of root of root 13 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square by 2 plus 13 by 8 sin inverse 2 by root 13 of x minus 3 by 2. Here one thing observe, so this is root 13 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square is nothing but this value 1 plus 3 x minus x square. 
So, this is replaced by 1 plus 3 x minus x square. So, now x minus 3 by 2 into root of 1 plus 3 x minus x square by 2 plus 13 by 8 sin inverse 2 x minus 3 by root 13 plus constant of integration. 